<laughs> Quentin Tarantino's classic crime caper Pulp Fiction is one of the most iconic films of the 90s. It is almost universally considered Tarantino's masterpiece, a touchstone of postmodern film, praised for its script, unconventional structure, and its extensive amount of homages. Funny, bizarre, and violent, it is the quintessential Quentin movie, and the plot, if you can even say the film has one, follows two mob hitmen, Vincent and Jules, who are tasked with retrieving a valuable belonging from a bunch of would-be crooks, a belonging that belongs to Marcellus Wallace, a gangster who employs the two hitmen. Whatever Wallace wants is in the briefcase which Vincent and Jules take from the goons. Though we never see what's inside, whenever anybody opens the briefcase, they are stunned by what they see, with the case emitting a yellowy glow. There's a magical, almost supernatural quality to it, which fits perfectly with the tone of Pulp Fiction, and the closest we really get in the film is a character saying, it's beautiful. The mystique surrounding the briefcase is amplified by the character's reactions to it. So what is actually in it? Well, when Jules, Samuel L. Jackson's character, is asked, he simply says, my boss is dirty laundry. Now, unless this flippant comment was actually the truth, in which case Wallace's tail must be Rumpelstiltskin, the contents of the case are clearly open to interpretation. As Tarantino himself has reportedly said, it's whatever the viewer wants it to be. Samuel L. Jackson apparently said, when I looked inside, between scenes, I saw two lights and some batteries. And if you're wondering, this is what was actually in the case. Case closed then, but let's take a look at a few theories. Of course, the briefcase is simply a MacGuffin, which is a plot device popularised by Alfred Hitchcock, which propels a story forward but holds no importance in of itself. Think the Maltese Falcon, the rug in The Big Lebowski, or the plans for the Death Star in A New Hope. The contents of the briefcase are an obviously intentional MacGuffin, seeing as though how much Tarantino draws our attention to it without offering an explanation as to what is in it, and perhaps with a view for viewers to ponder and speculate on. Maybe the contents of the case was simply a huge sum of money, but this doesn't explain the glow. So maybe it was a case of it being full of gold bars that gave off a glow. One popular theory is that the case contained the diamonds from Tarantino's previous film Reservoir Dogs, which were stolen as part of a heist. Tarantino throws in many nods and references to his own films in his movies, suggesting they all take place in one big shared universe. In fact, though this is never actually mentioned in either film, Vincent Vega, John Travolta's character, is actually the brother of Victor Vega, aka Mr. Blonde, played by Michael Madsen, so already the two movies have a link, and Tarantino has played with the idea of making a film centred on the two, called The Vega Brothers. Though Steve Buscemi's character takes off with the diamonds at the end of the film, it is implied he is captured by the cops, and all the other major characters are killed. Perhaps the briefcase was hidden by Buscemi's character before he was arrested, or he managed to escape, and there's an entire story waiting to be told of how exactly the diamonds came to be in the possession of Marcellus Wallace. Sticking with the idea that all Tarantino films are linked, could it be possible that Tarantino will make a film in the future that will tell us, or at least imply, what was in the briefcase? It's not out of the question. And it could very well be that the movie which tells us what was in the case just hasn't been made yet. But given the contents are ultimately not important and they haven't been specified, there are a number of fun theories about the subject. Some say, for example, that the case contains Samuel L. Jackson's N-word pass for Quentin Tarantino. Others say it is the nuke from Kiss Me Deadly, a movie in which a private eye searches for a glowing case filled with radioactive material. It makes sense that the contents would be a homage to a film, given Tarantino's love of paying tribute to old films he loves. Maybe it was a Willy Wonka golden ticket, or perhaps Elvis's old suit, which actually does appear in the film True Romance, for which Tarantino has a writing credit. Maybe the briefcase contained a stolen Academy Award, 
Many Oscars have gone missing over the years, including Whoopi Goldberg's, which she won in 1991, just a few years before Pulp Fiction came out. Maybe it was stolen by Wallace for his wife, Maya, as a present, who of course is a failed actress. Or maybe it's a cheeky meta nod to the fact that Tarantino thinks he should get an Oscar for how good Pulp Fiction is. Perhaps the most talked about theory regarding the briefcase is that it actually contains Wallace's soul. The idea being that he sold his soul to the devil, which was sucked out of him through the back of his head, which is why he has a bandage. The bandage is actually there to cover up a real life scar of some sort the actor had, but that notwithstanding, Wallace apparently wanted his soul back, so dispatched his two hitmen to get the case from the goons, who were actually minions for the devil. This theory does have some weight. In addition to the bandage, the contents of the case of course glow. The combination of code is 666, and when the fella comes out of the room blasting at Jules and Vince, incredibly they are unharmed, which Jules of course chalks up to divine intervention. It's worth noting that Tarantino created the story of Pulp Fiction with Roger Avery, who once revealed that the briefcase was actually supposed to contain the diamonds from Reservoir Dogs originally, but this idea was scrapped for being too boring and predictable. Avery is quoted as saying, Originally the briefcase contained diamonds, but that just seemed too boring and predictable, so it was decided that the contents of the briefcase were never to be seen. This way, each audience member would fill in the blank with their own ultimate content. All you were supposed to know that it was so beautiful. No prop master can come up with something better than each individual's imagination. At least that was the original idea. Then somebody had the bright idea, which I think was a mistake, of putting an orange light bulb in there. Suddenly, what could have been anything became anything supernatural. Didn't need to push the effect people would have debated it for years anyway, and it would have been much more subtle. I can't believe I'm actually talking about being subtle. So there you have it. What do you think was in the briefcase? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.